guys, welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. What I wanted to do was show you some of the plants I've got going, new stuff coming up. I mean, I've got, let's see, it is March the 24th today, 2022. I've got all kinds of stuff coming up. So we'll just start right where I'm at here. Let's start over here a little bit. Okay, some nasturtiums. This is a pepper plant I planted. This is already going to seed. It's been in the 80s and right close to 92. My, I think it was in the 90s the one day. But this is, um, and there's some spinach and, uh, oh gosh, it's cilantro. Um, broccoli going to seed. I'm going to save the seeds. Okay, there's all kinds of plants here. There's some chamomile coming up back there. Strawberries came up here. Um, I've got white salsify and some couple things I'm not sure what, more nasturtium and some other stuff. I've planted so many times nothing came up, so I wasn't sure which one it is that decided to come up. Um, let's see in here, new ones that are coming up. I think I moved all the dill. I had a bunch of dill that came up too. Let me show you something else on the way over those are um, more flowers and chamomile and stuff coming up there and I'm getting ready to plant some ginger I've got it sprouting um, look over there at my beets they're doing good I've already eaten my other fall beets okay I do not know what this one is it might be a cantaloupe or a delicata, I'm not sure. I'm thinking a cantaloupe. I didn't have any squash over here. So I'm not sure. Just sometimes seeds wait a couple years before they sprout around here. I don't know why that is. Um, okay, so. And then I've got some of my peas coming up here. I planted some delicata in there because a lot of the flowers that I planted get down. Didn't come up. I've got a few in the middle. And it looks like my, it's been so hot, all my lettuce is bolting anyway. So I'll probably remove that and plant something else on that side. And um, I've got to get my cabbage harvested and eat because my cabbage is going to seed. You ever seen that before? Okay, I got some of my orange sweet potato planted there. And it's, I had to get it planted, get it out of the window because it was just growing like crazy. It was beautiful in the kitchen though. But, um, yeah, so I've got that planted there. I've got some chamomile, it looks like, coming up in there. And I've got some other stuff, I hope. What really excited me was, I got it full of water, but, it got really, really cold, and my pepper seemed to die all the way back. But I went ahead and cut the dead stuff, but there's peppers coming out of the bottom of it. So, and that one too, but you can't see it right now because I got water in there. I just watered it. That one, the stems are still green on that hot banana, so I think I know it'll come back. And here's another one. But they're coming back from, I left a little bit of the stump. It The top part had died back, but there's... Life's still in the roots and a part of the stump, so I'm thinking it's going to come back. I was so excited about that. I thought I'd lost all my all my peppers. I bought some more, but um, I just can't seem to get my peppers to come up. I've got some cinnamon basil coming up, which is exciting. Down here, I've got all kinds, all kinds of little tomatoes coming up. I've got the solar flare, which is a bigger tomato, a couple of those. I've got a volunteer. Those haven't come up yet. Boxcar willies, which I've never grown. Mr. Stripey, which I love. Arkansas Traveler. I'm not sure if I've had that before. That might be that mystery tomato that came up later in the fall. And I got a lot of tomatoes off from it. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I just called it my volunteer, and that would be this, if that is an Arkansas Traveler. I don't know which one it was that came up. But it sure did good, whatever it was. Okay, I moved my black goji berries. I had to cut it back. It was grown in through the fence because it was where I parked my RV, and you, it can't get any sun over there. And it is loving it in this spot. It is just really waking up and taking off really, really well. So I'm happy about that, too. 
I've got borage coming up here. I had planted the seed and a couple of those, and I transplanted it over here. I've got lemon balm over there. I bought a little thing of that. Um, that's my lemon thyme I transplanted over here, and that's a sage. I planted my tea plant in here, but looks like my stevia is coming back. It comes back every year. Guys, you can't see it uh, besides the um, cilantro that's I transplanted on the edges. <laughs> I got these moringa seeds, what, 2019, and my tree lived for year and a half and then it just died so they're very very cold they don't like the cold at all well anyway I had heard where the seeds were no good after a year but I didn't have the heart to throw them out so I've been soaking and baby and they started sprouting I was just a baby in them and so I planted one that sprouted in here I've got the other still in the window so I'm gonna let them get a little bigger before I plant those Look at my cucumbers. Now, I wasn't sure what cucumber that was. I'm really thinking it was a bush, but it came up last year. I had one plant, and it was so prolific, it was crazy. Now, a bush cucumber still vines a little bit. It just doesn't vine quite as much, if that's the bush cucumber. But it's coming up wonderful. I'm going to share some of those with my daughter. So I'm really, really excited about that. I transplanted one of those cucumbers over here, and I have some calendula that... I planted from seed that's coming up and one of my flowers it's a blue flowered salvia that's absolutely gorgeous there it is okay I went ahead and moved my snowball plant back here in the garden which is also I don't know if you know this or not but it is cramp bark it's a snowball bush but it's also cramp bark it's just not big enough for me to get any bark off from yet so I thought it doesn't get much bigger than this maybe it won't be in that pot but I thought I would move it in the garden and see if it did better. Right now, it seems to be liking it here pretty well. Down there is supposed to be Heliochrystium. It's coming up. My Rose of Sharon has leafed out. I love my Rose of Sharon plant. And yeah, it is edible. Now, in here was a bunch of compost and dirt. And there's something coming up over there, but I don't know what it is. So we'll just... There's a couple somethings, and it could be anything because there's so much compost in there from kitchen scraps. That other sweet potato was still hooked to the sweet potato, but I also had a few of uh, the slips that had rooted, and I went ahead and planted the slips in here. This, These have been in here for a couple weeks. They're yellow a little bit here. I just transplanted this with the last one from the window that was just a slip. I have more... I have a purple sweet potato in there, and I've got another orange one in the house. Not sure where I'm going to plant all those. Okay, in the corners are my mystery bulbs. My son had got those from the mountains. They didn't bloom or anything last year, and they may not this year. I've seen some of the leaves grow like that. I don't know what they're called. He didn't know. He said he'd heard they were really medicinal. But I can't look up what they're medicinal for or how to use them if I don't know what they're called. So if anybody knows what those are, I don't. In the mountains, I've never seen them flower, and I've not seen them flower here, but they are a bulb I planted. I don't know what they are. My comfrey is coming back in there. This is spearmint, and that's kale over there. So far, um, in the new location, these are doing, this is just left from when it was so cold there for a month or two. But they seem to be liking it here so far. I never got back out here and marked these, but all of these are potatoes. I know these are russets, and they are a non-determinant. This one is a determinant. It's either yellow gold or the red, but it has come up first. There's another determinant in here. Like I said, I don't know which one's the red and which one's the gold. I was going to mark it and got sidetracked and never did. And it's really exciting. That's one of my elders. And it's getting ready to blossom up there. And it'll put out more. I've got more. I get little blossom bunches all over this year. It's really going to do good. I'm so excited. Now, this is the elder in the pot. And it doesn't do as well usually. Although it's looking good right now. But, oh man, I keep seeing more and more elder blossoms on this tree. It is going to be absolutely loaded. It's so exciting. Out here in my in-ground garden... I have got to get my hose thing fixed, or I the one that I water here. Uh, it broke. 
So, but I was gone for a couple of days, had a wonderful time with my sister and visiting family. And I have a story, something I'm, I'm thinking about doing a video, something concerning all of that. I'll talk later. It's um, really interesting. That is a lily coming up down there, that green plant. It's supposed to be a tiger lily. We'll see. Like, I think it's like the ones that grow when they're really turban lilies, but we'll see. I've got dragon tongue bush beans, but I haven't been able to water them. I don't know if I may lose them. Um, and over here, a trail of tear climber beans and my ace tomato. Um, my calendula is really good. That one orange one, I really wanted to keep the orange flowers, I think, are more potent. The darker the flower, the more potent, the better they are. But I haven't had a chance to pick it, and it's looking a little ragged now. And the older they get, the less potent they become. When they just start emerging... They're the most potent. So, yeah. I've got, my kale is doing good here. I've got more, a lighter colored calendula there. My peas are growing a little bit. And this is a yellow cauliflower that I'm letting go to seed. Garlic looks good. I've got some spinach down there. In those cups are more of my um, marshmallow herb that um, I grew. And those are from the little starts that overwintered. I've got one in the ground. I need to get the other two, but I just haven't had time to get to everything yet. My boysenberry is looking really healthy and green. It's liking it in the ground. That was in the, that's been in the pot, what, three years? This one's been in the ground for a couple years, but the thing of it was it never got any water. But I'm going to have to reset the hose, get another piece of hose so it's longer to reach over here or something. We'll see. I kind of got it a little ways over here, and they did have gotten watered a little bit. Look at my pomegranate. Now this one's taking off and doing better than the one in the ground. So that's kind of exciting. Um, I think the one in the ground's not getting enough sun. My elder here has not sprouted out yet. I'll just be, leave it and be patient. And the pomegranate, it's just, it's next to that stake. You can't hardly see it there it's got some little tiny green leaves on it but it's where it's at right this time of year there's a lot of shade it'll get more sun later i think so it'll maybe catch up with the other one later because they were planted from seed at the same time pomegranate grows really easy i don't think you can see it they're little i've got my dill transplanted over here let me see if i can see you see those little green things there they weren't up very high, but I wanted to get them over here where they had more room to grow. I don't think they've come up yet. Um, I need, I've got in there some kale, but I've got it with that tool so that the um, aphids hopefully can't get in there to it this summer. It's kind of in a shady area. I'm hoping I'll have kale this summer. So maybe I can keep the aphids off them, and I'm going to make a higher lid for it to keep so it'll have room to grow because the dirt was pretty high up but um yeah uh, you know where I learned that from was her name's Robbie and she showed how to make that and then she showed how to make another lid that's taller and I'm going to try that from what is it Robbie and Gary's I can't think of the name of their channel I just know it's Robbie and Gary um but she she made those she comes up with some pretty good ideas sometimes. Little nasturtiums in that little pot. I'm just putting it over here because I'm getting ready to water and I want it to get some water. And uh, this is my skull cap. If you've been with me very long, you know well, this what this is. And um, yeah, so I'm so excited about those. They're the most awesome cucumbers. And I, I'm sorry I lost the tag to what it originally was. They're the most prolific, healthy for this area anyway, even in the heat last summer, they were just awesome. I hope they do as well this year. I wanted to show you because I'm getting ready to, my daughter's going to come over later and get some of them. But yeah, I think every seed I planted in there came up. Just wonderful cucumber, but they, I'm almost positive they were the bush cucumber, but I don't know the exact name of it. Well, it looks like the cat's been in there. Whatever I planted in there didn't work too good except for the cilantro. So I will, um, 
let you all go. I just wanted to share some of my plant babies that are emerging. I, it's just so exciting this time of year. And we will catch you all next time. Um, just don't forget the Lord and all your doings and every day because we need him so desperately, especially in these strange times. Don't give up on your garden. Pray for your garden. Yes, pray about your garden. But most of all, pray about yourself first. But if you're walking with the Lord and you pray that whatever you put your hands to do, do it with all your might, he says, and pray that God will. And what I'm saying is also pray that God will bless the fruit of your hands. And uh, we will catch you all next time. Bye now. Don't forget a thumbs up, please. Thank you.